On first glance, you see a few more clouds overlooking Malta right now with our Mohawk Chevrolet Cam. But taking a close look, you can see a little bit of action with a, some patchy drizzle that is now falling across that portion of Saratoga County. Really having a hard time making it out. So let's go over to the radar from Malta down towards Round Lake. Uh, even as you're getting closer to, let's say, the Grooms Road area, you may find a few little showers right along the north way. A few more light raindrops as we look from the Glens Falls, Queensbury area, getting up towards the village of Lake George and even uh, the narrows of the lake as well. These are the only showers that we have out there right now and really again just a few little drops but there's more where that came from as we go through the end of this week. There's a slow moving system that will approach later on this afternoon and then just settle in through the end of this week. It's going to meet up with a more humid air mass that starts to build as we go through the day. So of course you know what that means this combination especially during the summertime as we'll charge up some shower thunderstorm chances later on today. One or two of those storms may turn strong to even severe this afternoon. There is a marginal risk for severe weather that green shaded area across most of the region. But I think the main focus is going to be south of I-90 as we go through the early afternoon, even sundown at the latest strong winds, more isolated flash flooding top billing for us in terms of those threats as still we're have a lot of moisture in the air that is going to come down as the skies open this afternoon. So pushing past the lunch hour, you can see some of these teeny tiny showers. Some may blow up into a few stronger thunderstorms. There's one future cast is showing you right near the Berkshire connector from Albany down towards uh, Valencia, the northern parts of Columbia County that continues on towards the east. A few more passing showers and storms coming out of the northern Catskills impacting the mid Hudson Valley and Berkshire County come this afternoon as the sun goes down storm threats go down as well. Things will stay quiet through the overnight, but you will notice more clouds. There may be a stray shower as we're waking up tomorrow. There's more where that came from as the heart of the storm system really starts to settle in. That will bring more downpours, scattered thunderstorms that will come in waves starting tomorrow afternoon. That's going to last all the way into Friday. Most concerning time frame is going to be overnight Thursday into Friday. Some of the heaviest rainfall coming at night could lead to those flooding issues that of course will become even more dangerous in darkness. So we are going to be on the alert for more flash flooding, especially coming off of what we dealt with earlier in the week. Those areas are going to be most prone for allergy sufferers with a drier day today. Also more humidity. We're going to see an uptick in the grass pollen in the air. Thanks to rain though tomorrow and Friday. Those numbers dropping We're way down low, especially as look towards the end of this week uh, before things start to ramp up into the weekend. Very warm today. 88 for a high temperature with more clouds around this afternoon. There's also that late day shower and storm chance as mainly south of the capital region that all wraps up by the time the sun goes down this evening. Things get a little bit more unsettled as we work through opening day at Saratoga morning workouts. Uh, probably going to be a little showery, maybe in some spots, but then through the afternoon, we'll keep a close eye on the radar for more of those developing thunderstorms. Flooding threat will continue into Friday. Then it's a dry but hot start to the weekend. 90 on Saturday with more storms coming Sunday and once again next Tuesday.